uh, Defcon Cloud Village for having me here. Uh, we are going to talk about CSPM to Cloud Trail. Uh, my name is, is Rodrigo Montoro. Uh, my handle is Poker and my Twitter is Poker Labs. Uh, I live in south of Brazil, Florianópolis, and I work at Tempest Security as research and threat detection engineer. Uh, the motivation behind this research is something that we that we need to improve our cloud detection in our in our security operation center and since you have a, a lot of different customers we start to figure out like how we could do something that will fit in mostly all the customer without needing a lot of content and and so when we start to think and brainstorm about that uh we we get what uh we get splitted into different parts like uh, so you have the Thread detection, that's something more complex, I could not, and, and something related about misconfiguration. And that's something more, more straight to the point. And our agenda, like we are just do a before review about the cloud attack, uh, cloud attacks, uh, cloud trail and CSPM, a very short review, and talked about the research and some future work we are figure out to do and so cloud attacks like i think like when you are on premise we have like a kind of perimeter and this perimeter is something that make things inside the perimeter safe like you could do a lot of bad configuration not follow hardening stuff but inside your perimeter that's a, let's let's call like you have a fire and have the internal and the external part you you have your data, your apps, your servers, your containers, or whatever, and I could not access from the external part unless I have some access and all the other things. But I'm comparing like some things by default. Like if I open a server, I I I I I pick, I pick some share in my server and open to 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 anonymous, for example, I could not access from outside by default. And companies are doing and migrating to the cloud. So what they are mostly doing, they are doing what we call lifting shift. Like they, they do, they, they, they work on the same way they work on premise and they put everything on instance and other things. And they mostly do, doesn't work with the, the cloud native stuff in the first instance. But the problem with that uh, that they are doing the lifting shift of the security of the protections of the data source that they need to monitor. And when you are moving to the cloud, you have an, a new attack surface, a new attack surface is born. And what is this new attack surface? That is really, really important to monitor that if you are on the cloud, if you are in the cloud, like is the most important part to monitor, is the AWS API uh, or the control plane. And 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 doesn't matter like if you are a DevOps guy, uh, some automation, or the malicious guy, you could from there do a lot of things. You could access the the, the information. You could change the the infrastructure. You could open stuff. You could like uh, start something, some crypto mining, and all that things. Like you have control, especially because we're not going to talk about that. Like the over permissive uh, policy and that's that's another subject to talk another day but that's uh, one of the main problems in the cloud and so that's being, being said like uh, we have something as i mentioned before like and so you have the thread detections to this specific data source and you have the misconfiguration detection and the thread detection is something as, as i said before is something a bit more complex and we are trying to think about like uh, a kind of chain, attack chain, like the user will log it from somewhere different, maybe try some enumeration, from enumeration you have a privilege escalation, and so you do this filtration. And so it, you probably need to have some kind of combination of acts to, to figure out like it's attack or not. And something like simulate a parkour framework and see what, what's happened. And we have the mis misconfiguration detection. And th this misconfiguration detection, if you pick the, the right, fields and information is something more one one to one like one 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 event you could probably have a detection and 
that's uh, where we are are fitting our our research and there is three type of activity you could say and those activities will be like who will be the good the regular guy using doing good things following the baselines uh, using the best prats and so on and so you have the bad intentional something like you lick the a key and from the key you start to to do some why why you have access to do like you could like or access some information, try to do escalation and other things. And you have the, the bad no intentional. And the bad no intentional is where the, the dangerous lives. Because it's something like the guys that's, that's supposed to have access have access and are working on their daily job doing something that's not following the best press. And the 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 the, the our our, our main goal here uh, it's exactly on that because like if you f uh, try to find some misconfiguration here we'll probably find for for bad intentional too because sometimes they're going to open something or do some things that is the same but we don't want to stuff to begin wrong and so like this kind of detection is cool and it's that's why it's something most almost in real time and so when you do that, you're opening your account for for other 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 people, other other access or something else doesn't matter. And there is two kinds of uh, misconfiguration. Some misconfiguration that when you provide direct access, you need nothing to access that, and 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 and, and, and could be something like a, a nest tree bucket. Oh. Uh, a snapshot, a EBS snapshot, it could be a security group that you open a port to a server that's running in some instance that has no authorization and and or no authentication and they will have access. And so this kind of, of, of stuff, open your account to the world, direct access. I don't need nothing, nothing more. And you have like the the second stage attack and you need another vector. And, and 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 this vector could could be like uh, oh access to a EC, EC2 instance, a server side request forgery, oh uh, an access key or uh, or a user and password, like yesterday. Um, uh, Felipe Spaz Proteus uh, talked uh, talked about a lot of different ways to find like some endpoints end that are put are public based on on research that. AWS that, that could be disposable. And this kind of thing, uh, uh, most of the things he, he told like fits on the second stage, like that you have the endpoint open, but probably for Redshift or for, for RDS, or you need like some, some, some extra thing like a user and pass. But he, he mentioned it too, Elasticsearch open, so you have direct access and, and this kind of thing. And so the, the, those three type of activities, the, the, the bad no intentional is where we are looking for. And so to, to give context to that, like let's let's do a quick view about the cloud trail. And so the how cloud trail work, mostly like whatever you do in your control plane, uh, you have uh, AWS management, uh, you have the SDK that you could develop something you have the CLI, that's a very common tool to, to use. And any of them will connect to the API and, and execute the, the actions. And you have like nine, nine more, almost 10,000 actions currently. And so like everything will be logged, most of everything, right? With some exceptions. And, and, and so it will be logged at CloudTrail. And how it works, it, it, it will record everything. It, it has a, a, a simple JSON format. And that's why it's near real time because it has a delay to put to S3 if you're using S3, and you have a, a lot of different fields. But mostly you have a JSON like that that will tell you like who did that, uh, when he did that, what he did, and this started to be interesting for our detection, and from, and the what parameters. And so the combination of what and the what parameters, it's where we're going to look. And figure out like let's see if something is 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 being created with a default misconfiguration right 
And so how we, we figure out like what we should do, what we should use. And so we start to look on the cloud security posture management tools and we look at cloud splites and, and cloud splite was created by Matthew Fuller that the, the project, the, the company was acquired by Aqua Security. And one very interesting point, it's a multi-cloud CSP. And what that means that we are talking now about CSPM to cloud trail, but you could just change to CSPM to cloud detection stuff because we are focused on AWS right now, but it, since it's multi-cloud, it could work with all the clouds, all the provider that he has. You understand why you want to use it because it has a lot of data ready, ready to go. And so if you look on the cloud spot checks, we have the Alibaba, we have AWS, we have Azure, GitHub, Google, Oracle. AWS more than 300, that's a great number, a lot of work to do. And not 100% could be converted in some detection. But this brings us like a total of 735 possible detections. That's a lot, like if it, half of this works, that's great. We don't need more than that. And the check was like uh, a week ago. And what 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 is those all those checks bring to us a lot of metadata, and those metadata has a lot of information. You have a, a title, you have where the service fits, like some description, some have some more information. We have link to documentation. You have the the recommendation access action so you could figure out oh if that this happened let's do that and so like if you create some detections you already have the answer and you have the the code that you could just look and figure out better what they, what what they are doing to to validate that and this brings us to cspm to cloud trail research and this research it's something we are we are putting a lot of times uh, we are uh, we are working on, on on, on to release that and so like I read I read I read saying that we are going to release like in the middle of September probably in our Git Reverb so follow us we have a bunch of cool information and we are figure out like the better way to do that and that's being said like what what you did like the first stuff like we create a CVS about the close point information we pick out the metadata what you need to do here is to add the severity so we could have like some some better like since you have like 306 checks on that time uh we, we would like to have something much better uh, like like for prioritization so we create the severity like and based on our concept there is there is no magic rule here and what, what you did we, we start to do some some cards and so and so we have the, the rule, we have the severity, we have the, 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 the impact. That's something we add, like, because it makes the, the, because one important part we are talking about detection, like having more metadata, more information, make the, 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 the security analyst life easier. And that's very important. And so like from this, we want to create this. And this is the first version, like using Splunk, but our main goal is to have like some Sigma rules so you could convert to any thing you're using. But since our customer most use Splunk and our biggest engine inside the security operation is Splunk. So that's something that, oh, what I'm going to do something different than that. And how we could like uh, start to create the payloads to make sure that we could create detection and so simulate all things let's create <laughs> let's create our aws misconfiguration that we could do and for sure we are using a, a lab account and we are creating in strain but that's kind of thing that could be have nice to have a tool uh, to simulate all this misconfiguration and so could have something like cspm to uh, writing automation or something like that, that could be very nice because you could simulate like if your enforcement is working, you could simulate like if your soccer operate, uh, security operation team is working, if your detection is working and this kind of thing. And just to show some proof of concept about the research re that, uh, that I said is still going and starting with AWS, 
Uh, we, we create a, a public S3 book detection uh, through, uh, we create, uh, we showed here a VPC endpoint exposed, the public EBS snapshot and the trust account relationship. And the, the very first is talking about the public S3 bucket. Uh, and so there is two rules there. And so we create one like the, the detect the put bucket SL and the put bucket policy, just to show like if the, they are changing to something that's uh, to anyone we are, we are sure that we are detecting. Sure that when you're going to release, you'll probably have some extra rules that's not exactly related with this rule, but something like you could create a cross account. And then and so we could could add a principal here like another AWS account. And so, like for example, that endgame tools, that's a nice tool for Kinar McQuaid who works. And it will not make it public, it will make available to your account. And so this kind of, of uh, less noisy stuff. And so that's something you need to pay attention. But here, I just want to show the sample. And so like Gray Hat Warfare is here to show you that, that uh, you have a lot of information uh, available already. And, and that's insane because I follow it like for a long time. And you say like uh, AWS, uh, release a, a, a lot of tools to the text this and it keeps growing. That's insane. Now the VPC endpoints expose. And so here in this, we, we create like, uh, when you create a VPC, it will detect if the state principal and state research is, it's point to start. And, and sure, there is another vector, like, because like we're talk here about when it's been created, but uh, you could go there and, and use another another action as the modify VPC endpoint, and we have the same result. And so, as I said, we are going to focus on the the most possible case that how you can expose something. And Scott Piper has a nice paper about that. I forgot forgot to mention that. And there is a very great talk here. Uh, talking about that, and Scott Piper has a paper about this too, not about on the expo exposable service, but about this too. So I really recommend you that open your mind to see like how dangerous this could be, because sometimes we don't have uh, this. Uh, we could not uh, figure out like how dangerous that, that could be, but this is kind of second stage. You cannot abuse this like if you are not inside the the, the perimeter. <laughs> Uh, public snapshot, EBS snapshot, uh, that's something like, here is, is another sample, like you could just modify the snapshot attribute. As far as I know, you could not create it public, you need to modify, so that will be probably the only way. And you add items group to all. But and but there is another modify that you permit uh, an account. And so that's kind of thing that probably in the game ab abuse and something that you, you, you need to have two rules. You have two rules and I'm just showing one. And there is a great talk from Find Secrets and Pub, Public Exposure EBS, like from DEFCON two years ago. And the trust cross account rule. The trust cross account rule, it's, it, it's, it's very, very dangerous because when you cross account with some account, you are you need to make sure that that that, that, that account is, is safer too, because like if you put uh, excessive permission and cross account, like your account is as safe as the permission you give to the to the non-safe account. And so that's something that you really need to understand and fix. I, I didn't write here, but now last year, uh, Alexandre Sierra did a talk here at Cloud Village that the Saspocalypse that he explained like for 40, 40 minutes, something like that, the how the, the cross account works and some some ways to mitigate that. And so I really suggest you to watch that too. And that's being said, like some future work, uh, uh, we want to create more AWS detection. We start to GCP and Azure mapping too. We, and more focus on AWS, maybe some Athena queries and provide Sigma rules. That's something that we have in mind, but that could change. Like when we start to work, it, that could change. And special thanks to Celso from Tempest, Tempest, Kaduka and our team, and Matthew Fuller for reviewing the, the call for papers. That helps a lot. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for having me. 
uh, those are my con my contacts, my Twitter handle, the company handle. I, I really suggest you, if you're interested about the content, to follow us. And so we will probably provide some good content in the near future. Thank you very much.